be taking a fast fun fact tour around the Middle East. You'll learn all sorts of interesting things that your friends don't know. But don't brag about it. Now the Middle East is a very important, very old part of the world. You might know the pyramids or the ancient city of Petra or the ancient religious sites all over the region. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. Uh-uh. Our tour is about random fun stuff. So let's jump in our red car and get going. I'm driving again. Ooh, there's some desert. This sand makes you fly. Elise, slow down. You did the same thing on our European tour. Okay, okay. Now let's start again and stop at each country. Here we go. First stop, Egypt. The most popular car in Egypt is the Nissan Sunny. This makes sense because the country has the second sunniest city in the world, Aswan. Bonus fact. Egypt is where marshmallows were invented over 2,000 years ago. Great, now I'm hungry for a marshmallow. Now to Saudi Arabia. Saudis consume more soft drinks than any other country in the Middle East. And the favorite Saudi fast food restaurant is called Perfi. Though the burgers look pretty good. Look, you can get a side of dates instead of fries. How come we don't have that here? On to Yemen. Yemen has an island called Socotra, and it's the only place in the world these strange dragon's blood trees grow. They look like mushrooms or umbrellas. Some people think they look like they're from another planet. Heading over to Oman. If you're a guest in someone's home in Oman, they will almost certainly give you a gift of dried dates. More dates? That's so nice. After you finish the dates, you could be thirsty, so grab a can of Mountain Dew, the most popular drink in the country. Also, you can go to an amusement park with a building shaped like a giant incense burner. Whoa. Okay, next door in the UAE. They love camel racing. But they don't use human jockeys anymore. They use little robots. Look at that. There's a whole bunch of them. Hey, they're made from cordless drills. Let's get over to the safety of Cutter. What do you mean the safety of Cutter? You know how some places have floods, forest fires, tsunamis, earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, and volcanoes. Well, Cutter doesn't have any of those. Scientists ranked it the least likely country to be hit by a natural disaster. Alessi, your driving is a natural disaster. Okay, let's go to Bahrain. The bridge to Bahrain is over 15 miles. That's 25 kilometers long. It's such a long drive that at the midway point, there's a Starbucks, a mosque, and not one, but two McDonald's. Once we're in Bahrain, we can check out the Tree of Life. It grows in a dry spot all alone, and 50,000 people come to see it each year. Off to Kuwait. National animal of Kuwait, Arabian camel. The one with one hump. National bird, the falcon. You'll find both pictured on their money. Do you know what you won't find? Lakes. Or rivers. Kuwait doesn't have one permanent river or lake in the whole country. East to Iran. Home to Persian rugs. Persian cats. Bonus fact. Iranians chew more gum than any other nation in the world. But can they blow the biggest bubble? I don't know. Let's head to Iraq. The world's first writing system, Cuneiform, was created here between 5000 and 3500 BC. Do you know what they did with that written script, Elise? What? Well, you know how we have stories about superheroes, Elise? Yeah. 
like Iron Man and Wonder Woman and Black Panther and Captain Marvel. Yes. Well, the people that wrote that first script used it to write the first superhero story. And the hero is Gilgamesh. It's time for Turkey. Supplier of 80% of the world's hazelnuts and 20% of the world's cherries. Maybe you can buy some of them at the world's oldest mall, the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul. South to Syria. People have been living in Syria for 150,000 years. Steve Jobs' biological dad came from here. Steve Jobs invented the iPhone, the iPad, and the Mac computer. Those things sure changed the world. On to Lebanon, home to their prized cedar trees. They've been used since the time of Gilgamesh to build boats and cities. You can find pictures of them on coins and paper money. Down to Jordan. You know what Jordan doesn't have? Oil! You know what it does have? The lowest dry land on Earth on the shores of the Dead Sea. It's 413 meters below sea level. Okay, one more country. Israel! It has possibly the neatest looking national bird. Woohoo boo! <laughs> Israel is loaded with amazing stuff. It has more museums per person than any other country. And for a country only half the size of Lake Michigan, there's a lot to see in just a small area. That's our fun fact tour of the Middle East. Make sure to check out our other videos for more fun and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye. The most important piece in our puzzle is you. Be sure to like. Tell us what you think. And share us with your friends. And of course, subscribe.